Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lalit Rao. Thank you very much for watching Philosophy Network channel on YouTube. In this new video about Greek philosophy, I'm going to speak to you about Stoics or Stoicism, the Greek philosophical school. Stoicism was one of the three leading movements of Hellenistic philosophy. It was founded by Zeno of Citium in circa 300 BC. He was succeeded by the second head, Cleanthes of Assos, but its third head, Chrysippus of Soli was its greatest exponent and most voluminous writer. Stoicism took its name from Stoa Poakile or painted porch in Athens, where these philosophers taught. Stoicism viewed the world as permeated by rationality and divinely planned as the best possible organization of the matter. The middle phase of Stoicism was represented by Panaetius of Rhodes and Posidonius of Apamia who introduced it to the Roman world where it enjoyed a lasting effect through Epictetus, Marcus Aurelius and Seneca. For Stoics, ethics was placed in the context of an understanding of the world as a whole with reason being paramount both in human behavior and in the divinely ordered cosmos. That only virtue is good and peace is bad can be acknowledged as the cornerstone of Stoic ethics. According to the Stoic philosophy, health, honor and wealth are preferred, proegniana, while their opposites are dispreferred, apo proegniana. The deterministic outlook of Stoicism is revealed in their teaching that all human lives are predetermined by the providentially designed, all embracing causal nexus of fate Despite being the principal cause of their actions, the good and the bad alike are responsible for them, which makes both determinism and morality fully compatible. The Stoic developed propositional logic and engaged in epistemological debates with the skeptical academy. The Stoic epistemology defends the existence of cognitive certainty wherein belief is described as assent to an impression. Certainty comes through the cognitive impression which is a self-certifying perceptual representation of external fact. For Stoics, knowledge, episteme, is the highest intellectual state in which all cognition become mutually supporting. It is unshakable by reason and is the prerogative of the wise. After the second century AD, Stoicism as a system of philosophy fell from prominence, but its concepts and terminology had by then become an ineradicable part of ancient thought it was replaced by new platonism lastly roman emperor marcus aurelius was the last major figure in antiquity to have professed primary allegiance to stoicism the influence of stoicism continues to be felt in contemporary times too as the expression stoical has become a fashionable catchphrase to indicate acceptance of misfortune without complaint. Thank you very much for having watched this video.